you want to know the scientific principle of cessating all the suffering, then watch this video until the end. If you watch this video titled The Introduction of Scientific Vipassana Theory together with it, they will maximize your understanding about the meditation. Let's start right now. Hello, my name is Jae Chang Kim, a meditation teacher of South Korea who will guide with Scientific Vipassana Meditation Method. Since the main purpose of a meditation is to liberate yourself from all the suffering, the first thing you have to do is to understand the nature of suffering exactly. And if you want to understand the phenomena of suffering, the best way is to observe the painful sensation directly. Suffering is not an only physical phenomenon or mental phenomenon, but the phenomena of the both. So if you want to understand the nature of suffering, it is necessary to observe the actions of body and mind together. And the most effective object is bodily sensation felt in the body, which is called as Vedana in Pali technical term. Would you like to pinch your face muscle like this? The thing you can grasp is the matter, your face muscles. And you can feel the feeling inside, which is the bodily sensation, which is called as Vedana in Pali technical term. And you are aware inside that is the function of the consciousness of your mind. So if you observe the bodily sensation as the main object, you can observe the exact point where matter and mind encounter together. So I'll explain how to observe the bodily sensation as the main object. I draw the painful sensation, the little more dark color like this. But if you magnify it to help of a microscope, you can observe subtle movements, subtle vibrations, subtle particles only. But if you cannot observe this subtle movement like this, this is connected, mixed, and reacted, something like this. Then it's the same as like this. Let's try to experience direct your experience. Again, you try to pinch your face a little more harder. Then you can feel the painful sensation inside it. If you can magnify this painful area with the help of a microscope, you can observe the subtle movement, the subtle vibration only. Then it is no more painful sensation. So principle is very clear. If you want to say the painful sensation, you approach to the painful sensation directly and try to observe the two objects. There are types of sensation, achiness, numbness, and shivering, and bloodness, etc. And at the same time, you, you have to observe the effect of changing, effect of moving, effect of movement as it is. Therefore, the scientific depression and meditation formula is the moment of maintaining perfect equanimity while noticing the types of sensation and the fact of changing tremor as they are is the moment when an ember of the enlightenment is ignited. If you can observe the subtle movements as they are, it means that it is not painful sensation as you experienced before because you have understood the changing nature of the painful sensation as they are, and it is no more painful sensation, but mere subtle movements only. It means that you have become free from suffering through direct understanding, which is called as liberation. I usually express this as an ember of the liberation, and that moment is the moment when an ember of the liberation is ignited. I'll try to explain with the help of an analog of a lighter. To make a big fire, you have to ignite an ember like this, small ember. It is not big fire, but uh, it is the same fire with a big fire like a forest fire or a furnace fire. Spiritual enlightenment are also similar with this. Therefore, two things are important for great enlightenment. One, you need to ignite an ember of the enlightenment. Two, you must acknowledge that this is an ember of the enlightenment. Because if you don't acknowledge that this small ember is also the same fire, you will not try to grow it toward the big fire and you would seek another thing. And if you are seeking for something else other than this small ember, you will never be able to make it into a big fire. This is the scientific principle of cessating suffering. Summary. Today I explained the scientific principle of cessating the painful sensation immediately which is the most important principle you must understand before you start meditation practice. For the two are important and they are, one, to cessate the suffering, you have to observe two objects and they are, one, types of sensation, which are the interpreted fact recognized by your mind. Two, the effect of changing as they are. Two, to realize a full enlightenment, you have to do two things and they are, one, you have to ignite an ember of the enlightenment, though it is small, 
too. You have to acknowledge the ember as the fire of the enlightenment and only try to grow it into big fire without seeking for another thing. Therefore, if you apply this principle to your meditation practice, you will be able to develop the wisdom and strength to realize full liberation from all the suffering with 100% conviction. So just please try to practice this principle with the help of a 15 minute guided Vipassana meditation in this channel. Please write the comments if you have questions and expectations. If you subscribe, like, and notification settings, it will be helpful to make next videos. If you want to experience two hour sitting meditation skill, please make a reservation in the comments or to my personal contact. This was Jay Chang Kim, a meditation teacher of South Korea, who will guide with scientific Vipassana meditation method. Thank you.